Hello everyone, welcome to an interesting journey of knowing all about your tiles. Today, we will talk about the art of choosing the right tile. Most people tend to choose a tile based on its aesthetic features, such as colors, patterns, and textures. However, the trouble arises when people get so impressed with the tile's aesthetics, they overlook its basic functionality, forgetting that certain tiles can't be applied to all spaces. So point to be noted here is that it is recommended to use a different type of tiles for different spaces. For example, using a glossy tile on your bathroom floor is a sure shot recipe for disaster. Let us now see how to select tiles for different areas of the house. Bathroom tiles. In case of bathroom floor tiles, the resistance to water and stains is the most important factor you should consider, along with the logical and obvious requirement for floor tiles to be skid free. The recommended floor tiles here are ceramic tiles with 3 to 6% water absorption level. Other options include porcelain tile or glazed vitrified tiles with matte finish. For bathroom wall tiles, glossy tiles or matte tiles with glazed finish are recommended for easy cleaning and maintenance. Nowadays, germ-free tiles are also available for wet areas, which resist bacterial growth. Kitchen tiles. Tile floors are a great choice for kitchens because they're hygienic and easy to clean. Use anti-skid durable tiles that can withstand scratches. While laying, ensure least amount of joints to prevent accumulation of dirt. Try to match the tiles with the units present in the kitchen to create a seamless look. A new trend in kitchens is the additional use of backsplash tiles. Easy to clean, these are often glossy or glazed matte tiles in attractive colors or with attractive motifs, positioned just above the kitchen platform. Living room floor tiles. For living areas, polished, fully vitrified tiles or composite marble are recommended. You can also offer elegant ceramic flooring. Or you can go for porcelain tiles that are more durable and water resistant. Depending upon room size, large size tiles are recommended for a seamless look with lesser number of joints. Living room wall tiles. You can use tiles to create one wall as a feature wall or an accent wall. Bedroom tiles. For a child's bedroom, Nothing beats a brightly tiled floor when it comes to durability and ease of cleaning. Tiles may seem like an unconventional choice for an adult's bedroom, but its incredible durability and wide range of textures and colors make it a good choice. Ceramic or porcelain tiles can replicate the look of a natural stone and wood. Coordinate with furniture in the room. Highlighter wall can be created behind the bed. Opt for tile colors and shades that are soothing and relaxing. What you need to know before you start. Tiles are just a part of a bigger theme in any room. Try building a harmony between your tiles and every other part of your interiors, like overall color scheme, furnishings, and lighting plan. Set your budget, but don't compromise on quality. Prepare an interior budget of your house before finalizing on the per square feet of a tile. Sometimes you may come across a more appealing and better quality option that costs more. At the onset, it may seem like a 50 to 60% increase in expenses, but the difference in the total tiling cost would be very small. Let's try to understand this. For example, you might find a normal digital wall tile for 52 rupees per square feet and a Spanish digital wall tile for 87 rupees per square feet. Similarly, a coordinated normal digital floor tile would be 52 rupees per square feet and coordinated craft floor tiles for Spanish series would be 73 rupees per square feet. Here, the increase in price looks to be almost 50% more, but considering that labor charges will be the same, spending little extra for tile will be worth investment. Let's see how. Bathroom would be 7 by 4 feet considering standard size. So let's break into wall and floor tiles. Floor is 7 by 4 which equals to 28 square feet. Wall 1 is 7 width by 8 height which is 56 square feet. 
Wall 2 is 7 width by 8 height, which is 56 square feet. Wall 3 is 4 by 8 minus 2 by 3 window, which is 26 square feet. Wall 4 is 4 by 8 minus 2.5 feet by 6 door, which is 17 square feet. Total wall covering area is 155 square feet. Total floor area is 28 square feet. Hence, for Spanish digital wall tile option, the total cost per wall would be 155 into 87, which equals to 13,485. And the total cost for the normal digital wall tile would be 155 into 52, which equals to 8,060. Hence, the total difference in wall tiling cost would be just Rs. 5,425. Similarly, for the coordinated craft floor tiles for Spanish series option, the total cost would be 28 into 73, which equals to 2,044. And the total cost for the coordinated normal digital floor tile would be 28 into 52, which equals to 1,456. Hence, the total difference in floor tiling cost would be just Rs. 588. Therefore, by spending just about Rs. 6,000 extra, you get a tiling option that is more durable and more appealing. Purchase few more boxes of tiles than you actually need and store them somewhere safely. This will compensate for any cuts, chipping, stain and breakages in future and will also guarantee you the same batch and shade. Before opening the tile box, ensure consistency in the manufacturing date and batch number to avoid shade variation. If installed in the wrong way or aligned in improper fashion, even the best tiles look dull and unattractive. It is always best to hire professional help. We hope you found our video useful in knowing about different types of tiles. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video with your friends, and visit our website to know more. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Check the description below the video for the links.